ka -ching. Hello, welcome to Podcast About Outside, introduction for episode 190. Holy crud. We recorded this outside of a hardware store in West Hollywood. Coons Hardware! Yeah, this is kind of a bit of a sellout episode. We sold the heck out. We just, this ended up being a very sponsored episode, okay? We plugged all of our favorite brands. Just ended up having like a really great time with brands, this this one. And Oops, but, but, all ads. But luckily, all the guests we had from the streets were really interesting and fascinating, and it was a really just overall a very fun episode. But back to what's important. Brands. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Healthy boundaries are great, but unfortunately they don't set themselves. Boundaries take a lot of intention, time, and support. And that's where a therapist comes in to help you decide what's most important and build your life around it. Connect with a therapist and find your boundaries at betterhelp.com slash outside. I love this episode though. It is good. It's really great. Really a fun time. Life's good. We love doing the podcast. Thanks for watching or listening. Blue Dot did sponsor it. They're having an outdoor sale right now. 20 to 40% off all their outdoor furniture. Again, this is a company that I just like and have bought furniture from. So if you like nice modern furniture that I would potentially sit my ass on, go check it out. B-L-U-D-O-T dot com. Check out their stuff. We also got a whole long Patreon this week from that same episode. Well, maybe it might not come out this week, but it's there. And we're posting every week there. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, $5 supports the show. You get to watch bonus stuff every week. Because we're not releasing every week on here. Including all of our live shows, which is like an hour and a half long. Those are good. We got some dates to plug. Uh... September 5th, we're going to be back in Los Angeles doing a live show with Chris Fleming at the UCB Theater. This is our last date at the UCB Theater. We've done it once a month for the past six months. Maybe we'll do more in the future, but that's been a really great run. Every show has been sold out. Every show has been really, really good. And tickets are $10. If that's not already sold out, it will be very soon. October 23rd, we're at the Bell House in New York City. Yahoo! We love the Bell House. Scary it's... episode. Oh yeah, it might be kind of scary. We might kind of go scary mode a little bit. We're going to have a special guest join us for that. Every Bell House show in the past has sold out. Tickets are $20 or $25. We're going to have some VIP tickets as well if you want to get a picture with us at our table. We love doing those shows in New York. Those are really, really fun. We want to do a college near New York. If you are affiliated with the college, please reach out. We're still trying to book that. And thanks for t responding last week about coming to Europe. We still want to do that. We got a lot of messages, so we'll try and make that happen eventually. Then I'm going to be in Pittsburgh on October 5th. <gasps> Come to my stand-up show. Tickets are $20. I have no idea how tickets are selling. But if you know anyone in Pittsburgh, send them to buy a ticket for that. It'll be fun. I'll have some local openers. Music this week, really exciting. It's by our friends, Max and Nikki Weinbach, a.k.a. The Wall Street Twins. They're from our Wall Street episode. They're great friends of ours. They did such a good job on our show that they actually started making music. Wow. That's how good the show was for them. They have a new album. They have a new band called Silhouette City. And they have an EP out called Who Do You Want To Be? This is it. It's on Spotify. It's on all the streaming platforms. You could buy it if you want to support them. Go check out Silhouette City. Just push play on it. Just type in Silhouette City. If you know how to spell that, congratulations. Just listen to their songs and enjoy them. They, they produce them themselves. They sound really, really good. They're talented musicians. They deserve a listen. So do I. Thanks and so making, does this episode. Thanks for making the theme song. Let's enjoy the episode. Welcome to Podcast, Podcast But Outside. Outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew Michon. My name is Kuntz Hirsch. And if you've never heard or watched our show before, the whole point of our show is for me and my friend here, Kuntz, to set up a table and chairs on the sidewalk at different locations in Los Angeles and beyond and interview random strangers who happen to be walking by. We have a sign on our table that says, Blue Dot. No, no, the other oh, side. Oh, sorry. Uh, hi, be a guest on our podcast. We will pay you $1. $1 smiley, smiley face. face. We're the only ethical podcast, the only podcast that, that pays its guests, as far as I know. And the only podcast that's currently sponsored by... Yeah, Blue, Blue Dot. Dot. It's a furniture company. They've sponsored us before. Yeah, they upgraded our setup. So we have a really nice Blue Dot table and chairs here, which is also what we had last time, and we were super happy with that. Yeah. And but then they sort they of... Kind of yeah. Sent us a... This they went, they went, they went, went overboard. Went a little bit extra. Yeah, so this time they did say we have to wear these hats that say blue dot on them. And, like... Yeah, you can see... 
and you know they gave us like catalogs and socks I mean I can think of something that sucks this whole situation the money's good yeah they are giving us ten dollars but it just feels like it's just we're it just we feel like such corporate shills right now hey hey how have you ever been a corporate shill no he did go to the store once though hello hey how are you sorry hey. sorry sorry about uh, those sponsorships cool yeah so. thanks sorry it's all sponsored yeah Yes, this episode is sponsored by Blue Dot, which honestly is a really great furniture company. They're based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. They design all their designs there. And I own a lot of Blue Dot furniture. It's a furniture company that I've liked for a long time. And I reached out to them personally because I thought, hey, this is a company that I really think is cool, that makes cool stuff, and I align with their values. And last time it was great, and this time, yeah, they w made us go a little overboard. Last time we had a, I think maybe maybe the only like influencers to have an ad go viral. Yeah, that's true. We had we had last year last time we were here we had Van Lathan on with us. Who randomly walked by. He walked by and complimented the table and it, it we turned it into a clip and it ended up being an organically sponsored clip that just blew up. Blew up. Hey how are you? Hello. Yeah. Where are you going? Work. Work. Oh, Where yeah. do you work? Connie and Ted's. Honey and you, to, you got five minutes to say hi? Yeah. You get a dollar. You get a dollar. Yeah, and all right, some, cool. And some swag. Well, don't bring that up. Come on. That's, that's right. awful. Yeah. Let's wait till Here, the you end. You can put on those headphones. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Cool. We're good. good. Uh, yeah. What's, what's your name? What's your name? Asia. <laughs> Asia. Yes. Hi, Asia. Spelled like the continent? Spelled just like the continent. Yeah. Yeah. Have, you been to, have you been to Asia? No, I have not. You got to go. I need to leave the country for sure. Have you not left the country before? No, not at all. Where's the first place you would go? Um... Portugal. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Portugal. Why? It's just beautiful. Yeah. Here. I just heard. You don't beautiful. know. How do you know? I just heard. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> I heard from multiple people, multiple sources. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 you. All right. Cool. That sounds great. I hope you get to do that. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. soon. Are you from Los Angeles? No, I'm actually from Chicago. I just oh. moved here like six months ago. Whoa. Oh, welcome. Yeah, How's yes. it going? It was rough at first. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, uh, what was so rough about it? Getting a job. Uh, like, but now you have one. Now I have one. What is the now job? I have two. What, whoa. Uh, yeah. What's your position? I'm a pastry assistant. Whoa. That's cool. Yeah, I cook. I cook. Yeah. That's do, so you, cool. do you want to rise up the ranks and be like a pastry chef? I want to actually just do my own thing and like oh. open up my own business. Hopefully. Were you a chef in Chicago? No, I actually was working front of house in Chicago. Okay. So I was just doing so like all restaurant work. Like, yeah. yeah. Always, okay. always restaurant work. Always. So Are you, do you like being in the restaurant industry? I love it. I love it. What are, the, what are the best and worst things about it? The food is the best part. Uh -huh. But then the worst is like, I mean, working front of house, you know, there's always those sure. certain people. Cust <laughs> uh -huh. They're called customers. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We have to call them guests. <laughs> okay, they're guests. Have, have you made friends since moving here? Yes. I've been going out a lot lately. Really? Ooh, going yeah. out like around here, West Hollywood? Yes. Okay. Yes. How do you meet people? I go out by myself. Really? Ooh. Yes. I yeah. usually go out by myself. Lately, I've been hanging out with my coworkers. Uh -huh. So okay. I, that's been fun. But yeah, I usually go out by myself and just see where the night takes me. And nice. so what? Do you, you have an open personality where you're able to like meet and talk to people? Yeah, I love Do, do you approach clearly. people or do people approach you? People approach me usually. Really? <laughs> yeah. What do they say? Um, it, usually, they just ask me if I'm by myself because <laughs> they just see me walking around. Yeah. yeah and it just kind of like kicks off from there. Oh, and nice. most people are like interested in when I'm talking about that I cook rather than doing like mm. the entertainment stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have any tips for people who maybe don't know how to like be confident being outside by yourself or to be going to events alone? Honestly, I just say go out there and if you drink, take a shot <laughs> because that, <laughs> oh, that always helps. helps. That really? always helps. Just loosen yourself up. Mm. But I say even if you don't talk to anybody, it's the experience of like going out somewhere and doing mm -hmm. something different. And yeah. there's so many places out here that huh. like I haven't tried. And since meeting people, they've introduced me to a lot more spots, which has just introduced me to even more people, which is great. Wow. That's yeah. cool. You yeah. seem to have a good attitude about it. Yeah, I'm yeah. loving it. I'm do, loving you ha it. do you miss your friends in Chicago? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I didn't have friends back in Chicago. Whoa. So what? Like, How long were you in Chicago? I grew up there. Yeah. Whoa. But didn't have any friends? It what? was a weird place. It's huh. a weird place. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's yeah. what's weird about it? Um, it's a little racist still. Oh. Mm. So that's okay. like the prejudice and everything. That sounds kinda weird. It, it is kinda weird. weird. That sounds it's a little weird. Like, where in Chicago? I actually kinda 
Chicago. Okay. <laughs> I grew up actually like an hour north in okay. a town called Wakanda. Whoa, yes. Wakanda. Yeah. But the bad Wakanda. Yeah, not the good Wakanda. <laughs> not the, the, not racist the, Wakanda. Wakanda. Yeah, the racist Wakanda. the racist Wakanda, honestly. Oh so my you, goodness. You saw Wakanda picture of the Black Panther. You're like, I wish my upbringing was like this. They, so if you go on YouTube, there's <laughs> also a video from like WGN and this guy went to Wakanda and he was essentially making fun of the fact that like it was all white people. Right. Oh, wow. so everybody was wearing masks and everything and they were just like just like saying oh like um like wakanda forever and everything and it was just they weren't crazy. about that but at the end of it there's this lady that owns a hair shop uh-huh. and um she's african-american yeah. she's black like, yeah and they see her and they run up to her and say the queen of wakanda we found you oh my god oh no that's like, not so good and i think at the time it was funny and now over now i don't think it's aging that yeah because well. i'm sure she is like why well, i don't yeah. like living in this racist community <laughs> exactly exactly huh so my parents got out of there my mom and my dad they moved to florida oh. which is Okay. Nice, so. and then you classic suck parents move. Yeah. Classic Illinois like retirement yeah. move. My parents are from Ohio, and they spent half the year in Florida. See, they have yeah. a house down there. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's yeah. where my parents. Wakanda, live. yeah. And then so, um, why is it called Wakanda in near Chicago? I have no it's clue. Interesting. Interesting fact. Also, there's another Wakanda in Washington. Oh. Yeah. I just know that. Also because, racist? Like, or? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been there. <laughs> I don't want to find out. Do you find <laughs> Los Angeles is a more accepting place? Yeah. Just just like depending on where you go. Mm-hmm. And, like I said, how open you are when you like go out to mm-hmm. things and what you're accepting. Because yeah. I've also interacted with people where it's been a little like standoffish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, getting a job was hard just because like. Chicago, we're kind of eccentric. Mm-hmm. It's a little laid back here, mm-hmm. so they take mm-hmm. it a little differently. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking for love out here? No. 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 We're getting away from that. Getting we're away to have from Getting fun. away from love. Yeah. So we're trying to have fun. We're okay, trying to have okay, a lot okay. of fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's your ideal like night? What's the most fun night? You so I like go out on Sundays. Okay. Oh. Sundays are my days. The Abbey. It's always the Abbey. fun. Okay. It's going off. It's always fun. I'm just having a time. I was there last Sunday. Just. Do you stay till crazy. 2 a.m.? Always. Always. Oh. Chicago, we're usually open until like 4 or 6 right. in the morning. So That's I'm crazy. like, the later I can stay, the better. <laughs> Great. Wow. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you've got a good life here. Congratulations. Yeah. What brought you, what made you want to come to California? Um, The weather. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mainly the weather. Because out there, it's like cold, like at least five months out of the year. And it's mm. kind of just not fun. Not mm-hmm. fun. But yeah. Yeah. Being out on my own is my first time being out on my own. So congrats! Yeah. Have yeah. you seen any celebs since you've been here? Um, yes, quite a few. Who? Quite a few. Let's see. Who have I seen? I've seen Tyga. I've seen Watiti. Can't think. A lot of the times, I'm having a lot of fun. At You're night, having so fun. I'll be a little. Are you I'll screaming be, and stuff? What are you doing out there? Oh, not, okay. I was screaming last Sunday. Okay. It was Juneteenth. It was Juneteenth. Oh yeah, so yeah. I was definitely just having a You're ball. You're turning up. Yeah, mm. of course, of course. No, I'm just usually dancing. Just dancing and have a drink in my hand and like I'll meet people and then I won't. I'm just like, oh, whoa, look who it is. Mm-hmm. So you want to make pastries. I want to just cook in general. You want to cook in general? Yeah. So I'm thinking about starting my own business hopefully in the next few months. And oh, that's that soon. Off. Yeah. What yeah. would it be? Um, right now I'm thinking like a meal delivery service or possibly like just like a pop-up situation mm. like you make meals for people and, yeah. and deliver them mm-hmm. interesting yeah. yeah um it just depends so i'm writing up recipes right now and hopefully i can get that figured out what kind yeah. of food would it be i make everything i can make anything so it's just whatever people want it could also mm. be catering i just you don't I, know there's so many options so yeah. many options do you usually only cook for yourself or do you yes. buy do you buy meals? Back home, I would cook for some people, and it's yeah. just very rewarding doing mm-hmm. that because there's nothing better than seeing somebody smile when yeah. they eat your food. I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's a good experience. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to sit down? <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah, come back. Yeah, we'll come be here back. for an hour. <laughs> She's not coming back. Um, are you gonna be late for work? Do you have to go? Yeah, I'm going to have to go. Okay. okay. Hey, Asia, thanks for saying hi. Hey, I got a dollar. Congratulations <laughs> on living in Los Angeles, and we hope you love your new life here. Thank you so much. I'm very it's much enjoying it. Sounds like you're in a good spot. Yeah. yeah. So we give everyone a dollar and a sticker. Awesome. And do you want some socks? <laughs> do you want some socks? Oh, We're sponsored by Blue Dot. It's a furniture company. Okay, cool. They're making everyone say something. Can you just say something into the camera about what it was like sitting on this chair and how comfortable it was it actually is comfortable because i wasn't even like sitting up straight so this blue dot chair is amazing you don't even have to sit up straight you can be uncomfortable you can be like this if you, in certain situations you can probably be like this yeah and it's still comfortable oh, that's it's still good. very much comfortable yeah that's really good so thank yes. you for thank you for <laughs> plugging <laughs> that yeah we're, so, we're sorry of course, of course. they're yeah. just forcing uh, forcing, our, forcing hands. our hands do, do you yeah. smoke 
Oh, yeah. Okay, you want some matches? Thanks. They're blue dot as well. Perfect. And can you just say something about the matches, too? Blue dot is always here to support your smoking needs. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Perfect. Thank you, Asia. Um, hey, right, have a great Asia. time at work Thank and hope you. to see yeah. you again sometime. Thank yeah. You. Welcome to LA. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, what, yeah. a, what a great attitude. Have a great day. Have a great Take day. care. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. See you Sunday at the Oh, edge. you dropped an AirPod. Air, oh, yeah, AirPod. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see yeah, you later. Have a good one. I wish someone was that nice to me when I fucking lost my AirPods a week ago. Yeah, I saw them fall. I know, and you weren't nice about it. Uh, hi, hey, Mountain Dew. Do the do. Do the t- us. Do the podcast. Fuck. Fuck. Asia was great. Asia's cool. I want to go to Abbey on s- the Abbey on Sunday. I want to go to Asia. Hmm. How come only black girls are named Asia? Hey, how are you? You want to sit down? Not that l- not that much longer. Do you want to kick us out? No. no, we'll be here for an hour, and we'll plug we're plugging Coots Hardware. We're telling people to. A break? A come, break, Come yeah. on, you're on break. Come on, break. Yeah, we're in front of Kuntz Hardware in West Hollywood. If you ever need hardware stuff and you're in this neighborhood, this is the spot to go. Kuntz! Hey. The reason why... Hey, how are you? Hey. The reason why this is the spot to go is because this is the second time we've done our episode here. We've never talked to them. We've never gotten permission, but we're very much in their space. Yeah. And they're very chill about it. Mm-hmm. So that alone is a reason to come here. And we bought some tape, and the tape is sticking like crazy. Yeah. It's doing the Lord's work. Yeah. I've never used tape this good. Coons <laughs> Hardware. Stick stuff nice. Hey, we bought that same tape. Look, we also we bought have that the tape. tape. We bought we the same tape. We just bought the same tape as you. We're tape twins. <laughs> oh, the blue, the, blue, the blue painter's tape. The, the blue uh, blue tape. We, bought the, we just bought some of the same tape. That's all. See, look. It's right there. Look right there. It's true. It's true. <laughs> You're acting like we're crazy, we but it's true. Tape. Do you want to sit down and talk to us? Uh, no, it's all good. We're just interviewing yeah. people. It's okay. No worries. Have a good day. Yeah. Enjoy the tape. Enjoy. It's great. <laughs> she did not want to admit that we bought the same tape. I'm, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud of the tape, I'm proud too. Of it. <laughs> she was definitely <laughs> acting like we were insane for suggesting that it hey. was the same thing. Cool gloves. Hey, how are you? Cool gloves. Want to talk to us? Where are you going? Oh, okay, we'll be later. here for an hour. Everyone's working. He's United Express. Yeah. A radio station? Uh, no. Podcast. I don't think we do a podcast, but there might be a radio station. Are you delivering something? Yeah. Nice. United Express. Just doxed him. <laughs> I just doxed his ass. <laughs> Oh, no, Speedwalker. Hey, how are you, kid? You want to talk to us? No? no. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, there's our tape, tape, buddy. Tape lady. Tape, tape lady. Tape, 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 tape. We got her excited. We got her. At the end, we got her excited. Hyped her up. I, I got a question for the podcast guy, listeners. Ask it. Have you guys ever cooked in an egg? What? Those eggs. You know about those? It's called an egg? They're called eggs. They're grills. And they're shaped like an egg. And they're called eggs. And people love them. People are obsessed with those things. Yeah? Yeah. You've heard about the egg, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera person's heard about the egg. I'm just curious. If you cooked in an egg, let me know how it is. They look cool. I'm not really a barbecuer, but I like the look of those eggs. Hmm. You know, it's Pride Month, and we're in West Hollywood. Yeah, I wish I was it. more supportive of that lifestyle. Tell me about it. I'm going to put on this uh, hat. Oh, no. Oh, here's a guy. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you if you want to talk to us. What's that look like? Looks cool. Hell, yeah. Perfect for summer. 80 degrees today. Except in the shade, it's nice. Which is why I have my winter hat on. Oh, here's a woman and her dog. Oh. Yeah. Or a dog and his woman. Oh, you're good. We're up to no good. You're we're up good. To, you're up good. To, we're up to great. We're up to good. You want to talk to us? No, uh, just anything, anything. Anything you want to talk about? If you want to say hi. Yeah. Yeah, he works at Coons. Hey, Cole. Yeah. You know what August is, right? Summer. No, no. August is Food Awareness Month. Oh, yeah. Uh, food awareness. Yes. And it's the month where you're gonna have to eat food every day. 
Oh, man, that's going to be a challenge. It's going to be really hard for me and you. But the best part to do that, the way to do that for my life, is for doing it with HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number number one one meal kit. kit. Fall is right around the corner, and HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. Or Mm. to your mouth? Yes, mouth. Simply choose your recipes and pick your delivery date, then lay back and enjoy the last days of summer knowing dinner is covered. Does it seem like your family is hungry, like, all the time? Right. Add snacks, sides, and more to your weekly HelloFresh order. Just simply shop HelloFresh Market and take your pick from a curated selection of over 100 add-on items. Guess what? What? HelloFresh sent me some stuff. What did you do? Because it's because August Food Awareness Month. Because August Food Awareness Month. They're like, hey, have you heard about this stuff? Food. Food. I'm like, holy crap, I got to check this out. They sent it to me, sent me a box, me and my friend Lindsay cooked up a storm in her kitchen we made tilapia with almond parsley gremolata plus green beans and garlic herb couscous it was so good i asked for a box that serves four we cooked all four there's only two of us but you know what we each ate all of it because it was so good i told you i didn't want you hanging out with Lindsay anymore yeah i know but and now you bring it up on during food awareness month my favorite month of the year i'm sorry go to hellofresh.com slash 50 outside and use code 50 outside for 50 percent off plus free shipping that's hellofresh.com slash 50 outside and use code 50 outside for 50 percent off plus free shipping hellofresh is great it's america's number one meal kit it's one of the longest running sponsors of our show and it's a really fun an exciting way to cook food that you would never otherwise cook for yourself that tastes delicious and makes your family and friends feel great. So true. And during Food Awareness Month, it's more important than ever. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think you have a comfortable chair. Yeah, we got yeah. a comfortable chair. Hey, what's your name? My name is Richard. Richard, Richard. how's your day going? Pretty good, thank you. Good. I work at Coots. You right work at Coots, yeah. Coots, yeah. How's yeah. the day going? Doxed. Uh, typical day, you know, beautiful weather and all that stuff. Nice. Even inside? Well, there's no weather inside, uh, uh, yeah. but uh, it's a good place to work yeah. at. You said you said that chair was comfortable when you sat down. I'm feeling comfortable. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Just letting you guys know. Um, uh, so, so is this going out to the world? Or yeah. Yeah. If is, is there anything you've always wanted to say to the world? Well, um, <clears throat> I think I'm glad I live in California, where uh-huh. uh, people are treated equally, pretty much mm-hmm. as much Ooh. as anywhere else in the country. Uh, yeah. okay. They treat women well. They treat people. Uh, in this community, like uh, anybody else, which I think is important today, mm-hmm. yeah. As it's um, in some parts of the country, it's fading. Mm-hmm. Sure, and people are losing all their rights. Yeah, yeah that's okay. an important. Have, have Have you ever been uh, discriminated against or treated not fairly? No, not no. that I could say. Yeah, um, I think the only time I was ever afraid of who I am was when I was a kid. I was traveling to Florida, and we got pulled over in the South. Whoa! And me and my uh, a friend that I was with were both Jewish kids, and uh-huh. uh, you know, uh, it's pretty uh, strict down there in the mm-hmm. South back then when I was a kid. And yeah. uh, this uh, cop pulled us over, and uh, I told my friend, "I go, you know, this could be rough." And he was a perfect gentleman and uh, treated us very well. That's and good. I, I was very gratified about that yeah. because you never know. I mean, we were in the yeah. middle of nowhere, and well, you're you're sitting with two Jews right now. Yeah. So. Well. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I believe this country should be equal to everybody, no matter what their religion or beliefs are. And, yeah. Uh, very important. I'm glad to see you guys are doing the same thing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, how long you worked at Kuntz? Uh, I've been working here for 27 years. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. You That's a long so time. So I'm assuming you like it. I guess I do. I mean, the owner here, he's got a big heart. He owns his whole building. Wow. Is his last name Kuntz? No, it's not. Oh. It, it was sold to him around... 1973 I believe it was wow I got here at 1996 so yeah. he's had it for a while he's an older gentleman right he is an older gentleman yeah, yeah he's about him. 81 years old mm-hmm. um, family owned he's got his uh, nephew working here as a manager Great. and his uh, son as well wow do you have pretty nice customers um, yeah for the most part the most you know part. Yeah. yeah they I mean we have a lot of regulars uh, we have people coming in here um, that live in the area, and when relatives come, it's almost like a tourist attraction. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. I mean, you got to come here. You got to come to <laughs> Coons <laughs> Hardware. Do uh, you um? What what are some? Cra- do you have any crazy stories over those twenty six years? Uh, here? Yeah. Um, I don't know about so crazy. 
some really cool things I was able to witness being here. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when they uh, flew the shuttle around oh, yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. We were up on the roof watching that. Oh, um, that's cool. Uh, my boss participated in one of the uh, parades they had coming down here. We had a big banner. Nice. Um, cool. Crazy. Cool. I mean, the only thing crazy I could tell you is I moved back from back east where we get weather. I come to this place. Everybody in California worries about the traffic, but in my position, I have to worry about the rains because there's parts of that place that leaks like a sieve. <laughs> so, oh, really? Yes. I mean, of all the places I've ever, I can imagine working at, it's a hardware store that has leaks. Wow. Really? <laughs> are you plugging them up? Are you the one in the, out there trying to well, fix it? Well, we all are. I mean... <laughs> okay. it, all hands on deck. I, yeah, pretty much is. I mean, if you come in during the rainy season, you'll see... Uh, very large trash cans down here. You're good. Go you can sit down if you want. No worries. Okay. Wow. Huh. Any love in your life? Uh, I love my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, right now, I'm um, uh, winging it. Winging it. Winging it. Okay. You going out and stuff? You trying to meet people? Uh, once in a while I do. You know, I yeah. work here six days a week, and right. uh, I take care of my chores on sunday mm-hmm. that's we're closed on sundays by the way you can walk by you're okay yeah you're good or you can sit down if you want to say hi by the way. Oh, oh thank you come say hi after you get your hardware okay, okay perfect all right she loves us maybe she's got a leak well you guys i'm on my hey, lunch and yes. i gotta go hey yeah. thank you we're, we're gonna pay you a dollar really and a sticker yeah. this is the second time i've been in california it was actually a an extra in a movie and they gave me a dollar like you're gonna do Whoa. and i framed it and i told my I sent it to my parents and I said, look, mom and pop, I finally made it. Wow. What, what <laughs> movie was it? Huh? What, what movie? movie? It was for some college guys. Uh, oh. They were using a place across the street from where I lived. I, I don't even know the name of it, but I was a, uh, like a ghoul <laughs> and, with a costume. And all I did was stand in a window and wave my hands. Wow. I, That's awesome. Well, here's a dollar and a sticker. Oh, Do well, you want thanks. a pair of socks? Uh, sure, why not? Okay, all, all right. right, purple socks. Dang it. And cool. contractually, you just have to look at the camera and say, this blue dot chair is really comfortable. Sorry. This blue dot chair is very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I'm thank sorry. You. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Thank you for but you, t- mean, you, you, you mean it. You do mean you it because right? you said it before. I do. I, I, I hate to get up. Okay, <laughs> great. Good. Thanks for sitting All down. Right. People love the hardware store. Yeah. I mean, it is a good vibe in there. I'll is say it? I, when I went in there to get the tape, which I love, um, <laughs> I there was just that like everyone all the customers were talking to each other really? they were talking to the staff there was just like a, everyone was like shouting across the aisles kind of talking to each other I recognized that the uh, father from Peacemaker in there the show Peacemaker I start talking to him he start and then like a, I'm walking down the aisle and we're having a conversation where we're just shouting back and forth about stuff <laughs> and then the employees are getting in on it and they're chiming in it it's felt just like a cool it, vibe yeah it felt like I was I was uh, part of the family it's like cheers but hardware store uh-huh yeah huh. yeah yeah and the fact that one guy came out and said, hey, I'll be on my break soon. And the other guy's on his break. Uh-huh. If the people working at the place are on their breaks and they want to come talk to us, that's a good vibe right there. Yeah. You're good to go ahead. How are you? You want to sit down? No worries. Love you. We should do like a... A thing where we get a good guest? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We should do a thing <laughs> where, we, where we talk to someone. Yeah, that'd be really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Hey. I think in this episode we're going to mix it up and interview strangers. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up? Nice. Give me a little wave at the end there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, a couple cool. good friends of mine um, just entered like something called the Titan and they're going to see like the remains of the Titanic. Oh. Um, that we're sounds awesome. Yeah. And by the way, this is like backlog. So we're like just now. Um, Why are you saying it like that? What do you mean? Like, why do you need to clarify that this is backlog? Oh, because it, they just went in it today. Okay. Like, so uh, for for those of you listening now, it's like way old news. But, but, but why do you think it'd be news? Well, because they'd get, they'd get to see, like, <laughs> the Titanic wreckage. <laughs> it'd be awesome. Yeah, I know. But why do you think that they're going to be aware of the news of that? Because <laughs> it's like a new, awesome journey and voyage. You no, know, they've done it. The I think, th- I mean, yeah, I don't know because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> but I would imagine... <laughs> <laughs> that this journey's been done before. <laughs> not by who? I don't know. Well, it's never in the I news. Mean, I've so never heard about right, it. Right, because it's I don't not know in the what news. This should definitely be in the news. <laughs> but I just don't know if it will be. Look, anyway, 
I'm excited for my f to see my friends again. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So if yeah. you guys are watching this, yeah. welcome back. I hope. <laughs> Uh, I hope it does become news, and I hope people are stoked on it. Hey, how are you? Hey, guys. Hey. Cool stash. It's interesting. I think if you're hot enough, you actually just truly don't give a fuck about hey, us. Hey, he's back. Hey. He's Come have back. a seat wherever let's you want. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Our second Coons here, Hardware actually, employee. Yeah, let's put second these on. One. Second one. Hello. Hey, how are you? What's your name? I'm Skyler. 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 Speak directly to the mic for me, Skyler. Yeah, there we Hello. go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. How's your day going? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Not too not too shabby. Not too shabby. How long have you been at Kuntz? Uh, a couple of months. Oh, new job. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? What's that look for? Retail. Yeah. Work retail. at retail is hard. I get yeah. it. It's a, it's a demanding Challenge. job. Challenge. Yeah. I wish what? I was doing what you guys are doing. Uh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah? Yeah. It Just can be hard, too, though. Getting mm. after the creative world. Oh, We're yeah? trying to. Is that what you'd want to do long term? Oh, yeah. yeah. I got... Uh, I got a clothing brand. I do uh, music videos. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. What do you do for music videos? Um, I film, I edit, oh, I cool. animate. All, all of it. Okay. Nice. What, what kind of clothes do you make? You can go in oh, front. You can no, go you're, in front. You're, it doesn't it's matter. Part of it. it doesn't matter. It's part of it. It's all yeah. good. Um, it's like, uh, it's streetwear. Nice. So, just a bunch of shit. Okay, cool. Do you Are you always repping your own stuff when you're uh, not in the... Koontz uniform? Oh, yeah. yeah. This fits terrible. No, I, I think like it. Looks good. I think it looks this cool. so trash. No, no I, think I like don't, it. Don't rate me on my fit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely think it's cool. I think it's cool, too. Like, I would wear a Koontz hardware polo. That's cool. I would wear my stuff here, but I'm just like, I'm going to get it dirty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you guys sell these? Uh, they should. They should. Yeah, they definitely should. They should be selling tees. Yeah. I was like, I said that to them. I was like, yeah, you guys should like think about like merch. You, you know what you do is you design it for them, show it to I them. I print and too. I, yeah. I print in my living room. You should. You should try to combine your work. Yeah. Yeah. Shit Probably make eat. good money off that too. Yeah, you would. Where are you Sometimes. from? I'm from Philly. Oh, cool. Philly. Our, our, our normal camera person's from Philly. What brought you out here? Ah, uh, film, clothes. Yeah. All that. Film, clothes. Very cool. Uh, how long have you been here? Uh, almost a year. Do you feel like you've been able to make friends here and stuff? Um, I have a couple friends. Yeah. I'm always working. Are you working yeah. too much? I, I, once I leave here, I go home and just work on clothes or videos. Yeah. Mm. So that's honestly like my weak part here. Mm. Yeah. Is I don't have like yeah, big the social connections network. out here. Yeah. 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 And that's a huge part of That's a huge LA part of all that stuff. Is you need people. Yeah. 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 How old are you? 24? 23. 23. I'm any, about to turn any, 24. Any, okay. So any, any, any 24 year olds in LA looking for a friend? This guy yeah. seems cool. Come to Coons. Yeah. These yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah they are. They're, new, right. they're new to LA too. Yeah. Yeah. Come to Coons Hardware and just <laughs> introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah. Just pull up. Pull, pull up. up. Hey, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, we can get two <laughs> guests for the price of one. Ooh. Um, um, are you? She's so pregnant. I'm assuming you're, you're having trouble dating out here too. Then. Oh, I got a girl. Friends. Oh, you got oh, a girl. Got a girl. Got a girl. Why are you here? assuming he's gotten having trouble? Well, if he can't make friends, yeah, it's, it's like out of pocket. <laughs> 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 we're. Yeah. Did you bring the girl with you? So we we were at school at CU in Colorado. In Boulder, we were just there. Yeah, no we way. did. We did a wedding there. People book us for weddings. What? We were just in Colorado for a wedding. Yeah, that's true. Like a gay wedding. Our yeah, first gay two wedding. Weeks a week. Yo, hats off to you guys. Yeah, then we did a show at Cervantes. Do you know that place? In Denver, this hat's dope too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we appreciate the. Is this the merch? No, no it, it should be. We should, should sell these. Yeah. We just made it. I just Yo, made cop it up hey, on the merch. What, what you, you get? What are y'all doing? I got some cooking bowls. You want to sit cooking down? Cooking bowls. No. All right. I right, have a great day. Nice to see you. Um. Wait. So where's your girl? Um. She's working right now. Wait. Did you, wait. You did bring her or no? Yeah. Oh, we we, we met at school met freshman at school. year. Yeah. Came out here, and we both are just getting after it. Oh, nice. You're living together. Yeah. Nice. What she want to do? Um, she does like some three D animation. Uh, she does some like weed photography. Mm. So yeah, we're both kind of trying to get out of the retail world. Yeah. Mm, mm. Any way possible, pretty uh, much. Yeah. What's like your ideal creative job? Like my vision is I'm gonna be in a warehouse with selling my own clothes and also filming. Uh, short films, movies, directing, and also music videos. Mm. Nice. So, what are your, what sort of like genres are you into film wise? Uh, I love anything Kubrick's done, has mm. been like incredible. Kunstbrick. Yeah. Um, but Kubrick died though. I know. All so, right, I don't know. That's, that, is that a really a career you want to emulate? 
end your career in your own death? No. Yeah, you got it. No. Uh, he ain't right. That ain't right. Have y'all seen the new Dave series? Yeah, I, I loved it. It was so good. It was. We really, were trying to get him really on the good. show. Our, our, my friend writes on that, and he was trying to get him on our show. Um, yeah, yeah. Little Dicky, but it didn't happen. But maybe it will happen. He's a Philly guy. Oh, really? I know kids that went to his camp. Oh, oh really? Yeah, so weird. Funny. Yeah, yeah. He's talented. That show's really good. Yeah. Um, Atlanta. Yeah, was really incredible. Good. Yeah, good show. So, how'd you meet your girl? What'd you What'd you do? We just. It was like first couple days freshman year. You want to say hi? No worries. All right. First couple of days, I met her. And yeah, that was it. Huh. Well, the rest is history. Yeah. Have you met each other's families? Yeah. yeah. That's a long time. You've been together four years? Five four years? Four and a half years, yeah. Whoa. Do you feel like you missed out on the college experience having a serious girlfriend the whole time? Uh, and, I mean, and, and I know the answer to this, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's. We all know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the answer. And, uh, but she's special, and you're stoked. The thing is. I'm not much of a partier. Sure, that's so. Fair. You know, I could have went and had a great time partying, but I, I started doing what I love to do. So yeah, I have no regrets. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. I like that. And yeah. at least you weren't like long distance. You hear about people who like oh go long distance with their high school girlfriends. It's like that's a hundred percent the worst thing you could do for your college that's experience. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's that's crazy. crazy. People do that though. It's you like, gotta enjoy it. I know. You gotta enjoy it. Yeah, at least yeah. you're connecting with her and you're getting to know. Yeah. Did you travel around Colorado a lot too? It's like a beautiful state. I went snowboarding. Oh, a that's lot. cool. Mm. Nice. That's about it for travel. Have you snowboarded out here yet? No. It's definitely not as good. Yeah. But there's some stuff not too far, like Big it's Bears. It's like an hour 30. Uh, hour 30. It's, it's not, not that bad. far. It's not, it's not as far as you think. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. It, what's, what are your uh, plugs? What, where, where can, yeah, can we people find buy your, your, merch? your clothes? Is oh, so right now I'm doing a lot of one of ones. So uh, <laughs> You make one. No, no. Like, so every piece is different. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because I'll print it on my floor. Um, oh. Aplo.supply.co. A-P-L-O. Yeah. Cool. What, you can find it? that on YouTube. On YouTube and Instagram? Well, or no? the plug on Instagram is aplo.supply.co. Yeah. Oh. On so. YouTube, it's just Aplo Supply Co. Cool. Okay. You can go by. Enjoy that meat grinder. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you, guys, you guys do like... That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I mean, that's good. what you bought. It was a meat grinder. <laughs> you guys sell kitchen stuff here, it seems? They got so much shit in there. What's it, What's his coworker's name? What's the guy who was sitting down earlier? Richard. Uh, Richard. Richard. You like Richard? He's got so many stories. He could have been here for three hours telling you. It's funny. Yeah. I asked him for stories. He didn't really have any. It's my boy, Eric. Oh, hey, Eric. So he's, a, he's a legend. Hey, Eric. <laughs> I like Richard. Richard seems like a legend. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He is a legend. He's been here 27 years. I didn't know that. Yeah, That's man. Wild. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, we liked, we liked his attitude. Ooh, I like that green bag. Look at that. Yeah. That's bright. It's a bright bag. Um, you, uh, I got to give you guys some uh, credit for this uh, tape you guys saw. It's some awesome yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's stuck to that. Like, some no problem at all. Some good yeah. tape. Oh, yeah. we got a dog right here? Up in aisle six. Hey, yeah. how are you? Hey puppy. Between five and six, actually. Oh, true. It's oh no, this was this was no, in aisle six. You're right. You're oh, right. Shit. You're right. The gaffer tape was between. Gaffer tape's ex- expensive. I know. Well, I we bought, bought it. Bought it, I and bought then it, returned and it. it was fifty bucks. Yeah. And then I returned what it. What is this? And gold this. tape? Like, yeah. Get this out of here. That's crazy. It's so bizarre. Why? Is now I understand why venues get so peeved at us yeah, using we, the we tape. Yeah, we take this on the road a lot, and whenever we ask for gaffer's tape. The people working at the venues are really mad at us. Yeah. And now we know why. Are people yeah. going to, like, hit me up and be like, yo, I saw you on the podcast, bro. Like, it yeah. might happen. Is that going to happen? It might happen. It yo, might shout happen. out you future people. Yeah. Yeah, comment on his Instagram and say. Tell me it's trash. Do whatever you want to do. Just comment. Right? Yeah, yeah, just, just comment. Give, just leave just a fucking something. comment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, hey, we hope people buy some of that sh- stuff you're selling. Yeah, man. I Apple hope, I hope so too, bro. No, yeah. that'd be great. I, I, want, I wish you su- success in that field. And how's that chair you're sitting in? Is it nice? Amazing. Whoa. That's great. I'm that in an incredible great. chair. Oh, wow. great. Hey, go ahead. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. want to sit down? No worries. All right. Wait, so you guys are older, so give me some advice. Mm. Okay, yeah. Out Asking here in us LA. What's give you advice. My advice? I'd say dump that girl and start partying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not a partier either. <laughs> Wait, what's your advice? Um, keep selling that tape, but also... Oops. Keep doing what you're doing, and um, you oh. got to uh, just pave your own path. You can't wait for anyone for to you. hand you like. Uh, uh, we'll give it to you at the end. You can't wait. You can't wait to ha- for anyone to like hand you like the you know an opportunity. Yeah, you I just gotta make your own stuff and keep uh, like doing it. And so keep making your own clothes. Keep posting about it. Keep 
just keep doing your own. Yeah, I think the thing that you have to get used to about LA is that, like, hey, you want to sit down? Hi. You want to say hi? No. Is that you kind of like, you have to come to the realization that like everyone here is so self-absorbed with their own ideas or projects or things that they want to do that you really have to be an advocate for yourself and you have to make your own shit happen because no one's thinking about you yeah. or caring about Don't you. Don't wait yeah. for anybody. You have to like make yourself undeniable. We started this on our own. No one yeah. gave us the go ahead. We've done it for four years. We both make a living from it. It's like become a real thing. It's incredible. And we're proud of that, but it's because we just did it. Like he mm -hmm. pitched this to multiple companies he was working for. They said no. They said yeah. no. And you just got to like do your own thing and like f have faith that it'll work and work hard. And yeah, don't wait for people to tell you yes because they won't <laughs> yeah did you guys have a time where you were like you knew it was going to be something but everyone around you was like dude what are you guys doing yeah did when i was that time? when he was well, pitching it when i was pitching it around even your friends and your family not not them uh because i i don't know if i ra even ran it by them because i don't think they would have cared but just like yeah hey, it, it always yeah. just got shot down because they said it was you know either impractical or they didn't see the vision but i saw the clear like yeah what it, it could sense. be and then now since we've done it everyone's like oh this is such a smart idea why why wasn't someone else doing this and then lots of people have copied us and whatever because it is does it does make sense it's a good idea does that bother you that people copy you no it's fine yeah because it takes an incredible amount of work and i don't think people realize that and everyone that copies us stops pretty quickly yeah <laughs> it's really hard it's just like a lot of editing and i don't know it's just it's a, a lot, lot of work it's a lot to it yeah yeah but hey um yeah we wish you success here in los angeles and um Hey, do you want to say hi to us? No worries. Okay, have a great day. Um, and uh, here's a dollar and a sticker. This has our information. Please accept it. Cool. Please, Please accept, accept both. Please accept it. I'm going to invest this. Yes. And make a million dollars. That's yeah. kind of the That's the goal. Maybe. That, that is definitely the as goal. A, as a fashion guy, uh, what do you think of these socks? <laughs> um, I don't hate them. Nice. Okay. Would I design that? No. No. Someone else already did. Yeah, he beat me to it. He beat you to it. But I tell you what, it's simple, and sometimes, this, like this hat, for example, yeah, it hits because <laughs> podcast because hat. it's so simple. My podcast bucket. You know what? I'm gonna throw this up on the site. Go to podcastbutoutside.com slash merch. It's there. If you don't buy that hat, shame on you. Yeah, shame on you, dude. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, thanks for coming to say hi. Real. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your shift here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We love we'll it. Yeah. Take care. Take care. You? Good luck. Apple Supply Co. Yes, we know yes. all about it. Blue dot. Yeah, it's the furniture. See ya. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Yeah. I wish him the best. Yeah, me too. Cheers. You guys you guys are 24? 25? I'm 25. 22. Uh-oh, canceled. Young. Canceled. 20, 25 with a 22-year-old. Gross. Jesus Christ. What does this world come to? Yeah, when uh, she was 9, you were 12. That is gross, man. Yeah. Um, you guys should hang out with him. Oh. No. Ooh, she shrugs. It's our camera person and the camera person's young pedo girlfriend. <laughs> She's a pedo, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we got a groomer on our hands, boys. Yikes. It's Barbie. Barbie. You look like Barbie. <laughs> Where are you going? Mattel store? <laughs> That was so, did she like that? She loved it. <laughs> she does look like Barbie. You can't look like Barbie that much a month before the movie comes out and not expect Cole to yell that at you. Hey, hey how how's are it you? going? You want to say hi to us? Where are you going? Oh, no, no, I have to catch a flight. You got to catch a flight. All right, have fun. Where are you going to? Uh, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Have a good trip. I, th I sense a Salt Lake City accent there. I sensed a Utah yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hungry? You want to eat after this? Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys hungry? <laughs> you you want to say hi? Want to say hi? Where are you guys going? Uh, from the UK. Oh, from we'd the love UK. to say hi. We interview strangers. Please. Come sit down. Come sit down. Yeah, visiting from the UK. We'd love to get. Here. You want to sit here? Yeah, you need to, Yeah, you're knackered. Yeah, yeah. have a seat. Yeah. We only have two, but we'll, we could we can switch off or whatever. This is perfect. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life so you can move forward with confidence and excitement. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. Therapy is something that I personally use to help myself make decisions and to help make sense of life. I go to therapy every week 
Me too. I really look forward to that time when I'm able to process things happening in my life. I'm able to move forward from challenging relationships and situations and um, learn how to be a better person and a better partner to the people I love. And a better co-host. No, I specifically um, am really good at that already. Oh, okay. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Please. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash outside today to get 10%, 10%. off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash outside. outside. BetterHelp.com slash outside. 10% off. Therapy is something that can greatly benefit you and the people around you. And us. And if you ever meet us. That's true. You might, we want to meet the best version of you. That's a really good point. If you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for us. Thank you. Back to the show. Yeah, put those yeah. on. Yeah. You guys are burnt. You been in the sun today? Yes. Sure have. Wow. What, what are your names? I'm Jamie. Jamie. Jake. 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 Have you guys been to America before or is this your first trip? Uh, well, I've been to Florida twice when I was probably about about five yeah, yeah. to seven-ish. But mm. LA-wise, yeah, this is all our first time. Yeah, uh, I think I went to Washington once when I was like 10. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the trip going? How long have you been here? What, uh, three uh, days? Since the 21st. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you here for? Uh, just <sighs> multiple things, to be fair. I mean, probably smoking, drinking. Nice. Um, the ladies. Nice. Much better than the ones in the UK. Let really? Me just throw that out there. What's yeah. wrong with the ladies in the UK? Uh, Call them out. Do you know what an estate is? Uh, like so, like a, a block of flats. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. So it's like a block of buildings where like people would live, but it's like very, very run down. Like, okay. Looks like, just looks a bit dodgy. Yes. Okay. Bit bit like that. And the women are like look like that. Basically, yeah. <laughs> They're a bit like they look a bit run down. <laughs> just a bit like. <laughs> You're scary. You don't. You don't want to go near them. Like, oh, so they look. <laughs> they look like rundown buildings. Yeah, that's like the easiest way to explain what English girls slash culture is like. It's very rundown. It's very. Okay. Why is that? It's just. I'd say girls in the UK yeah, have this stigma about them where they think they're elite, but they're mm. really, really, really not. Mm. And it's very complicated. So like, but girls here don't have you, that. You think girls here are different? Massively different in mm. terms of the way they look or the way they act or all of I it. I think I think I think in both. I'd say mannerism. I'd mm. say it's n very noticeable. But to be fair, though, you're also coming to Los Angeles, which is like the city with the hottest people in the world, oh, kind of. Like everyone who's hot comes here to be professionally hot. I like, feel like me, because yeah, I feel like what I'd say you'd know, we know of LA is a lot like it's very Instagram uh -huh. models. Like you said, it's very yeah. yeah. Very Thank much you. That. But at the Influence same time, are heavy. Yeah. Like, yeah. But at the same time, I wouldn't say that I've seen a lot of it. Sure. Like, I thought it would kind of... I had this, like, this stigma of, you know, I'd come here, you'd kind of just walk down the street, you'd see, like, every, like, 10 person, like, kind of 10 people, you'd see, like, a model. Yeah, or right, an Instagram right. or... But, or but not the case. Influencer. No, and it's not the case, but, which I suppose has kind of been nice, because... Except for us. I mean, yeah, we're oh, here with us. We're, we're two, Instagram two, modelers. Two studs right here. Yeah. So. And, and, and what do you feel about UK women? Similar? So I've got a girlfriend, actually, like... So you found the one good one. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but nah, similar to what Jamie was saying, yeah, like the whole vibe, I huh. think, compared to like UK girls and then girls like in America as a whole, I think, are just two completely different things. Mm. Huh. And you like, think it's more about the way that like UK girls are stuck up or something? Like, it's not stuck it's up. It's not stuck up. It's, it's just, like, it's like I said, they, they, they just hold a certain prestigeness about them. Like, why? That's the, that's I feel like it's just the UK culture. Either. Like a lot oh, of UK know. girls, like, are a lot more like cockier. Huh. So mm. like out here, I'd say uh, they're a lot more reserved. Like I feel like over here, it's a lot more of kind of like a pr of a process. So they got like self confidence issues and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like over good. the UK, yeah. it's like yeah. you will be yeah. in a talking stage with a bird for fuck me. Like probably oh sorry about like that's okay. you can swear you can call them birds um, for probably about like good like six to a six months to a year what mm. yeah. before you ever like yeah seriously up? like an actual talking stage before you get like proper proper serious with a lass it's probably about like i said about six months to a year you're probably chatting and then that's then when you kind of go all right cool and it's chatting like sleeping together yeah no? so it's like the stage before so like it's basically the stage before you ask a girl out sure sure so it's like you kind of you go through like the awkward kind of like yeah. introduction stage and then you kind of got like you know, you get a bit more confident yeah. with each other and et cetera, But it et takes six months to make her your girlfriend. Yeah, on Wh average, why probably, is that? yeah. I couldn't, I honestly, you couldn't don't know. Give you, I couldn't give you an answer. I just, how long would you say you was in the talking stage for, for you? 
probably about. I feel like it varies though, depending on the bird. I like, feel like it, it varies. Like if you can like kind of sense like the vibe from the get go. Obviously, it's going to be a bit. Yeah, because some because I feel it's obviously the, the average is probably around I'd say six seven months. Yeah, yeah. that's like, long. That is long, but that's like. I don't hey, know, are, you, are you talking to other people yeah. during that yes. time? Well, uh, it depends on who you are it as a person. It depends on like. the boundaries you set, if any. Okay. No. Like. Never put all your eggs into one basket. That's an English saying. I don't know if that's over no, here. We, we have, I was going to yeah. say, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You never put all your eggs into one basket. Never. Yeah. And I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I think it's only a bad thing, say, if you're... Say if you're... Uh, just theoretically, say you've got like five women, yeah? For yeah. Uh, five lovely ladies. Okay. And then you've got like one that's kind of the main one. <laughs> And then you've kind of just got a few, like three or four side pieces. Yeah, little side ones, just little side like chicken wings and fries and that. You know what I mean? Then you've got your main Teddy course. Grahams. Exactly. Don't know what that is, but. Cheez Its. Cheez Its. Goldfish. Right, you no got, cheeses. You got like a Miranda and a Charlotte. Yeah. And yeah, but the main one, Sarah Jessica Parker, she's like. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. And the main one is the one you kind of put more of your time slash effort into. Mm. Mm. And then your side ones you kind of just keep on the side but sometimes they can pipe up and get like a little bit rowdy mm. and a little bit like hey, what, trying to attention. yeah trying to become the main one but you don't want them to become the main one so it's a bit hard trying to balance and juggle i'd say but mm. it's more huh i don't here's a question for you what like what would you say is your like conception of uk i don't know about the dating scene i, I genuinely don't mm -mm. um yeah. By dating, do you mean like actual dating, dating, or like just you like said, kind of just trying to chat to ladies, well, slash like men, whatever your preference is? Everything in the UK, we yeah, we appreciate all kinds of pride love. Month. It's pride month. It's yeah, pride month. Yeah, yeah, pride month. Do what you want to do in it. But I, just, I don't think I know much about. I, like everything you're telling me today is kind of news to me a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you wait? Have you found that? Have you like talked to girls here in the three days you've been here? On dating apps, yeah, not technically in person no but it's a lot like you just the vibe on dating apps already feels different yeah but i feel like that's more on a sense like our behalf because it's like uh, kind of me straight away i'm like i'm not straight away kind of saying look i'm only here to kind of sleep around yeah, and yeah. blah 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 but it's like i'm obviously kind of like look i am here for two weeks yeah i'm not looking for nothing serious obviously so it kind yeah. of is either you just meet have a mm -hmm. few drinks and you haven't met anyone in person yet no you have some some things lined up that might work out Maybe gentleman never tells, but okay. Mm. okay. Like I said, it hopefully it goes it goes all right. But what uh, what dating app? Bumble. Okay. We've got Bumble, Hinge over here, I think as well. Okay. Tinder. Yeah. Mm. I don't really use them back at home though, because yeah. obviously back at home you kind of you know. Uh, I mean, when I was using them, they were literally just like a pastime. You don't take that. Yeah. Shit and and, 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 and a lot of them you. are in London. Like we're not from we're in we're from a little town. Like, are we above London? Yeah, above London. What mm. town? We're from a place called Stevenage. Okay. Yeah, whole tight. Mm -hmm. Whole tight Stevenage. Stevenage, yeah. What's, the, what's the vibe of Stevenage? SG2. What's um, the vibe of Stevenage? Well, we ha for a fun fact, we have the highest pregnancy rate for teenagers. Hell nice. yeah, yeah, dude. Congrats. So Is that because of you? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm <laughs> older than that. Age of consent and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We, I just we, wasn't sure. I was going to say, no, we don't do, we don't mess with that kind of stuff. Like, Interesting, but it's just a, it's a You're rough. You're in America rough. now. <laughs> it's a rough area, you would say. Yeah, well, uh, I think it's like everywhere, like even over here, like even in LA, I'm sure you've got your nice areas, then you've got your horrible areas where yeah. you've got like a bit more dodgy crime ridden sure. and mm -hmm. just like I said earlier, like run down and a bit like just old fashioned. But then yeah. we do have nice places like our, well, you guys call it soccer, mm -hmm. but our football team recently got promoted okay. into a new football league. So that's good. That's positive. That means more money coming into yeah. our little mm -hmm. town. That's good. We're probably a tiny town of how many would you say population wise? Probably no more than about 10,000, probably. Oh, very small. Maybe like 15,000. Yeah, max. about 10, 15,000. Yeah. And about 2,000 pregnant teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm most likely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy over there because with the UK, like we're more, I'd say, spread out. Yeah. Like you mm. over in. Over here in the US, you're kind of more big states yeah. and just obviously like bigger populations, whereas if it's more like you've got London. Small little towns. Which is like obviously capital, oh, you're massive. How far are you from London? Uh, train wise, it's probably what? About half oh, hour, okay, 45 ish. 20, mi 20 okay. minutes. Yeah, like you're kind close. of if that. Um, and then like you've got London and you've got Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Birmingham, but you don't want to go Birmingham. That's like. It's bad. That Bring is. Bring up Brum. Yeah, Brum. Yeah. It's awful. Like, it's just the accent. Like, mm. I mean, I've, not, I've never been there, so I can't really. You've got Liverpool. I'm sure you've heard of. Have you heard yeah. of Scousers? No. 
oh scousers they're like uh, the way they talk like when when you when you're done doing this just go on youtube and type in scouser <laughs> okay. liverpool just type in liverpool scousers i'm trying to think you maybe know lebron james yeah uh-huh. he, he he's a liverpool supporter mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's scouse that's what a scouser is when you're from liverpool okay so if you're from uh-huh. liverpool they get called you're basically a scouser it's not oh. a bad term it means or, you support the team no, it, it's like the it's like the term for a local. So, like, is there oh. a local term for like you'd say someone that lives here in LA? Oh, you'd be like, oh, yeah. I'm a like if you live in London, you go, oh, I'm a Londoner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it that people Angelino. We, Angelino is yeah. what mm. we say. So, yeah, Angelino. Scouser. That's a weird. Where yeah. did that come from? Honestly, could not tell you. Uh. But, but with how Scousers talk, it's very like. <laughs> so how they talk? They're kind of like, <laughs> like Jewish, like, like Hebrew. In a sense, yeah, you're kind of be like, you want to yeah. go to the shops and get a bit of fish and chips, lad? <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's, but it's like Sounds very like a Guy Ritchie movie or something. Yeah, like some, but it's a lot deeper. You're like, good. thank you. See, Guy Ritchie is more kind of like your London areas, London, like, yeah, mm-hmm. more Messy. like down south, mm-hmm. like Messy. yeah, like down yeah. south where we're from is a bit more like tougher. It's yeah. a bit more. But, I don't really know what you'd say, mm. like, but n- up north is a bit more lighter. They're a bit more. It's, it's heavier accents, mm. but they're a lot nicer. But then you come down south, not as nice, but you can understand what we're actually saying. Yeah, so wh- it's very wh- mixed. Wh- what are you looking for back in the UK, like in dating terms wise. of dating wise? Are you um, looking for a serious thing? Um, yeah and no. I've, I, I've only I've had two relationships in my lifetime. I'm 24 years old. Mm-hmm. I've had two proper actual relationships. First one was about four and a half years. Long time. You know, kind of just, you know, I'm not even going to front it. She ended it. She mm. kind of turned into a bit of a bird that, you know, wants to go out on the piss every night and go to all your local nightclubs and et cetera, et cetera. And the dancing scene, hey, me, I just like to be at home with a cuppa. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Feet up, just watching a bit of Netflix or something or whatever. Mm-hmm. So then we broke up. And then second one was just a bit, nah. I ain't going to get into that. That was just a bit weird. I don't know. I think if it... I'm not looking for anything. I'm not actively looking for nothing because I feel like the last two times I've gone out looking for love, mm. I've not... I'm clearly... It doesn't work because I'm not in a relationship right now. Right. But I feel like when I'm... If I don't look for it, I feel like something might come along naturally. Yeah, yeah, Well, it's yeah. what I'm hoping for anyway. I could realistically end up fucking single, sad and depressed. No, no. Life. You're 24. Yeah. But, you're, yeah. but yeah. you never yeah. know. But I feel like you... I don't... I want to move out to the UK eventually. Mm. I want to move to Spain. Ah. Mm. If 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 I was to give you any European country to visit, Spain. Spain. Okay. Cheap beer. Girls are lovely, as in like just not looks wise, but just personality, huh. and they're very welcoming. Do as you a speak country. Spanish? A uh, tiny bitch got like hola. Okay. Uh, That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. That's but, about it, really. But they speak um, English, like the the. A lot of them do. Yeah, a lot of you. I'll give. A lot of European countries credit. A lot of them do speak some sort of English. I mean, I'm so jealous of of Europe. Anyone who lives in Europe, that you're so close to so many different countries. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, mm. we it's so cool. Like, have you traveled all around Europe? Not well. Kind I've, of. Kind, kind of, of. Yeah. Like, we've been to. Uh, you've obviously heard of Amsterdam. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Amsterdam for us is literally a 32 minute flight. Right. So why not? Mm. And yeah. that's to a different country. Yeah. And then you've got like France, but no one goes France because. Shit country, shit people, shit food, shit culture. Sorry, <laughs> Europeans, we don't like the French. You um, heard it here and first. And then, I put, yeah, you got yeah. France, Spain, Belgium. Belgium's yeah. nice. Belgium's got the best chocolate in the world for you, fun fact. Yeah. So if you really like chocolate, yeah. to, to all, to all yeah. your listeners or whoever's listening, go Belgium if you like chocolate. There might be a couple of people, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of who else hey, we've how got. Are you guys? We've got nice to see uh, you. Yeah, yeah. Italy, like Italy's where you've got all, like, all your Romans. <laughs> like pizza, <laughs> pasta. Yeah, I know. Gabbadi goo. That type of stuff. Kicking about. Yeah, just gangsters. So, and just so you know, I have heard of Europe. I yeah. Know. <laughs> no, 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 no. We've got. <laughs> what else we got? We've got uh, Sweden. Yeah. You heard of Sweden? I've been to every country. Sweden. <laughs> What, you've been to every country in Europe? Every country you've listed so far I've been to, yeah. uh, Let me try and think of a small one. I mean, I haven't been to, like, you know, Eastern Europe or anything, but, yeah, but it's just funny. Well, no, see, that's what I was going to say, It's yeah. funny that you're going, you know, you got pasta. Right. Well, no, because, like, not in a rude way, yeah. Like, this is nothing rude to you Americans, but from all the videos I've seen, yeah, your geography is awful. Yeah, we don't know. Awful. Like, the amount of times I've seen, I don't have TikTok, but the amount of times I've seen it on Twitter and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of kind of, you go up to someone in the street and say, name five European countries. Yeah, they're dumb. They'll say like Africa and yeah. stuff that like that's a continent. But yeah. at least at least our 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 women look like nice apartment buildings. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, <laughs> flat. Yeah. Nice. Flat. I can't really argue with that. To be fair, like now, especially nowadays. But I'm trying. Like you've got. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm seeing a nice condo right now. She's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, sure, you bad. Tote yeah. and bag, helping out the environment and that. Got yeah. big that up as well. So Speaking of totes. Yeah, we have some tote bags for you, you guys want some if you totes? want them. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We we'll might, take any we merch or we'll we'll stickers and, and We whatnot. have stickers. We'll get into that. Um, so, all right. I guess... Any final thoughts? I mean, you guys are visiting from the UK. Um, so you're, you came, are you kind of a wingman? Are you a good wingman? Oh, yeah. What do you bring to the table as a wingman? Just whatever needs to be brought to a table. Okay. Whatever. You're, you're flexible. Okay. Nothing in particular. We just take the day as it comes, take the moment as it comes. You're here for mm-hmm. two weeks. Yes. We. Oh, do you have any recommendations for the 4th of July? Because our flight home is the 5th, so we go home the oh, day yeah. after. Where would you say is like a good hot spot to go? It's interesting. Or even Fourth a nightclub, July, per se. It's usually just like House private parties. cookouts. Yeah, it's, and always, oh, is it? it's parties. always parties. I, yeah. I always am bouncing around to different parties, and I don't know how to suggest that to you. Uh, um, yeah. But honestly, like... Maybe the beachfront with the beach down there. Yeah, definitely near. the beach. Yeah. There'll, There'll be, be fireworks there. Venice, there. yeah, Venice yeah. could be good. Okay. But like, if you like walked... Honestly, Go like... Be- park. Because There's going to be cookouts at the park. Cookouts at the park. But because okay. you guys are visiting, and you're kind of like, you don't know anyone, I would straight up just like walk up and down streets in West Hollywood and yeah. you'll hear like a pool party and, and I would just go. Go in. That's, if I were you, I would actually do that. Mm-hmm. Like on like Melrose, like up and yeah. down there, like not far from here, there's a bunch of houses and stuff. I've been okay. to many pool parties on 4th of July in that neighborhood. I think you should just try it. I mean, we ain't re- that's what <laughs> I would do. As well. I mean, During the day at least. At night, at night go go to a bar. That's something. what I was going to say. At night time I feel the like... The Abbey? Have you been to the Abbey? What's that? People like that. It's really close to yeah. here. Are you, where are you staying? Over here? Yeah, yeah. well we're staying... Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. But close to this neighborhood, kind of. No, no, no. Oh, we're okay. like fucking quite back that oh, way. Oh, you we're went, like, you went yeah. far. We're like Marina Del Rey. Or oh, oh yeah. you're in Marina Del Rey. Yeah. yeah, we're like down near the dock. Okay. Of oh, the okay. port. Like, yeah. Yeah, port. Right Del Rey, down this I place think. called the Abbey. It's like a, it's like a oh, very popular West Hollywood place. Is that a good place to go or no? People d- like it. The old dog and bone out. People like the Abbey. Um, yeah. Asia liked it. Asia liked it. Asia will be there Sunday if yeah. you go on Sunday. Where's my notes? Right. I don't know. I I don't really go out, so I don't really know. Uh, d- I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say that's like the UK culture. F- you're you're very fifty fifty. You either go out and you're partying, you go into festivals. Like uh, uh, sure. Have you heard? Of gl- uh, I'm guessing you've obviously heard of Glastonbury. Like Glastonbury's on at the moment over in mm. the UK. Oh yeah. That's like a massive big festival. Ma- yeah, big yeah. big festival. That's probably one of the biggest. Possible. I, don't, I don't think anything's bigger than that. Yeah. Would you say anything's bigger than Glastonbury? It's probably on like par with like Leeds. Yeah, you got Leeds Redding. and Reading. Your bloke Actually, I think Glastonbury might be bigger than that. Your bloke is back. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Okay. But yes. Yeah. Final thoughts. Yes. Thank you for having us here. Yeah. Are you single as well? Yeah, he's single. We're we're the two single ones. We're the two so single ones. All right. I, w- I wish you guys luck out here. Thank yeah. you very much. We've hopefully we'll come by here another day. You'll be here, and we can give you a success story. <laughs> I would yeah. love that. Or not even <laughs> just ladies, just in general. If we've got into any parties, pole clubs, yeah, anything like this. So if you're I hope listening, you get into in, everything. Have you guys been planning this trip for a long time? Yeah, we booked this last September. So it's probably been, what, a good, like, 10, 11-ish months. We've probably mm. been waiting to get here. And then, like I said, you're good. get here now. And and are, are you guys all friends with each other from childhood? No. So funny, well, funny mm. enough, basically, them two are mm-hmm. from childhood, yes. Me and him were met at a place that we worked at. And then... I, you well, got fired. Yeah, I got fired because fuck office jobs. They are the worst in well, the how UK. Did you, what did you do to get fired? <laughs> Just being shit at the job, to be uh, honest yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah. Like, I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy, like your, your brickies. Oh your laborers. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. like to be up and moving. Mm-hmm. The job we was doing was just sitting at a desk yeah. in an office in a f- like in a horrible, warm, cramped building. Uh. How was it sitting here though? Lovely. Nice. Kick back. Feet a comfortable? stretched. Sun you comfortable? You feel yeah. good? Sun's beaming down. Okay. Yeah. You like the chair? Wind's freezing, chairs comfortable okay. enough. Like uh, enough? Chair comfortable? We're not in a busy yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. in a pretty, cozy. Okay. Okay. pretty decent no. spot. So not yeah. bad. Big, cool. big ratings. But well, thanks for sitting down, you guys. We really much. appreciate it. Like you, said. you get a dollar and a sticker. Oh, thank you very much. Information. You get a dollar, American dollar. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, man. Before Either. we go, who were on your... So it's all on there. I'm d- oh, no, no, no. I mean, who's on your bills? George Washington. I've been trying to figure this out. So George Washington is on the Who's on the 10? That, I don't know if I could tell you. Um, is it Jefferson? Jefferson's on the 20. Oh, so Jefferson's 20. I know who's on the 100. That's Benjamin ben- Franklin. Yeah, but yeah, Benny. And then we got... Who's on the 10? Uh, Grant? Ulysses S. Grant? Because I, I, I kind of recognize the other ones, but like you said, the $10, ten dollar bill I've had in my hands the last two, three days, and I've not got I think a it's Scooby who it is. Like. I think it's Beyonce. She's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know who the best celebrity is in 
USA, yeah, and I'll argue Ooh. with any of your listeners, yeah. yeah. Oh, and this is from the UK, yeah. Okay. It's fucking Rihanna. Rihanna yeah. is top tier. I yeah? agree. Really? Best looking celebrity yeah. you've ever produced from the USA is Rihanna. Thank you. Okay. And Thank Whitney you. Houston as well. Big up Whitney Houston, RP. Oh, yeah. So, by Pick the way, the, pers- the person on the 10 is also, is also the best musical, which is Hamilton. Oh, Hamilton. Yeah. Do you guys smoke? Yes, we do. Yes. You want some matches? Oh, thank you very Wait much. We're sponsored, oh, by, we're sponsored by this furniture company. Big up today. Lewis Kimpton, if you're listening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Funny enough, uh, just before we go quickly, one of our mates actually started using matchsticks the other day to light his joints, and we all f- actually laughed at him, saying it's it's just not what you do in, in the UK per se, but now, now we're here. enough. Oh, you're here. Look who's laughing now. I bet yeah. he's, he'll be laughing back at Shout there. Shout out, Lewis Kimpton. Thank right. you very much. See you guys. Thanks, thanks, for, yes. thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate that. Enjoy yeah. your visit in our country. We will do. We will do. We're going to be in the UK touring one day. We'll see when. You've got to go. <sighs> yeah, where should we go? Where, where should people go if they're visiting the UK? Where should they go? Um, visiting the UK is your f- probably your first problem. But <laughs> if yeah. you do come, I'd probably say London, obviously, capital yeah. city. But don't get stuck on the tourist trap like the big old London Eye. The big okay. Pss, don't do that. Big wheel, don't do that. It's yeah. a scam, that type of stuff. Okay. Um, but what, are, what are some other cities they should check out? Uh... For culture-wise, Manchester. Manchester's I think Bristol. Good. Yeah, Bristol. Bristol's good. Bristol. Bristol's a good one. Manchester's good for shopping. And then if you want to go somewhere a bit more like coastal, like you yeah. kind of want Brighton. sand yeah, and Brighton. stuff. Brighton. Uh, the best place, actually, write this down, Cornwall. Cornwall. So C-O-R-N-W-A-L-L. I know it's a simple saying, but it's good. English accent. I don't know if yeah, some yeah, people yeah, might yeah. have no, trouble, okay. but Cornwall is unbelievable like as soon as we go type in cornwall on okay. your phone jet, okay. Look okay. It on google okay the beaches are unbelievable like it's right. unbelievable down in cornwall cool so cool you get cornwall. to see some uh, you get to see some rundown apartment buildings in bikinis exactly that sounds <laughs> nice and, and cornwall does the best ice cream as well by the way cornish okay. vanilla ice cream unbelievable okay. so oh, that looks beautiful wow. right yeah, I was going to say it's nice little cliffs. For the UK, at least. It's not bad. Yeah, beach-wise and everything, it's like the best you're probably going to find. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Um, so. What's I your name? See yeah, you guys. Yeah, Thanks we'll go and let, you, let these little ones get on yeah, it. Yeah, take care. Right. Yeah. Have you. a good visit. Take care. Yes. Bye-bye. Take care. Peace, See love. See you guys. Peace, peace and love. Yeah. Oh, no. You got to get your dollar. Oh. See ya. See, See you guys. guys. What a cutie. For the listeners, I'm talking about uh, a child, not the uh, UK blokes. Yeah, also, uh, you know, again, I know this is backlog, but next week we're having Colleen Ballinger on. We're having what? We're having Colleen Ballinger on the pod. Well, I guess that'll do it for this episode. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, we did our blue dot thing, and did it suck? Yeah. yeah. Is, is their furniture amazing? Yeah. Do they have a sale in October every year for 20% off? Yeah. yeah. Do they have tables like this that are half off right now? Yeah. Do they have really heavy, nice bookends? Yeah. That's a new product. Truly, they're the best furniture. I love it. Love their stuff. Hey, guys. And um, we appreciate them sponsoring this episode. They went a little hard, but it was fine. And this table is nice. It's nice to be nice to spread out a little bit. Yeah. I got a baby over there, in case you guys are wondering. Yeah, baby. Baby, baby. falling asleep. Uh, thank you for watching or listening. My name is Andrew. This is Coots. We're here at Coots Hardware. And we're here, and um, life is good. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, man. Who are all those people? Uh, well, one was Asia. Another was two were Coots Hardware store guys. Asia's and then a continent, dude, not a person. No, no, no. The, there's a girl version. and she Of the continent? Just, yeah. She's like oh. a representative. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, we had the uh, the UK blokes oh. who are maybe a little misogynistic. Oh, they still do that? Yeah. Haven't they heard about Twitter? X? X? Dude, I used to be so misogynistic. Then I joined X. I learned all about cool stuff. Twitter's misogynistic because they got rid of the birds. Oh, right. They're trying to cancel the birds. Yeah. And replace them with just the X's. Yeah. It's so crazy reading news articles and stuff where it like says now it's like blah 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 such and such on X. Like they actually have to call it like people have to call it X now. <laughs> I mean I've been calling it X for years. Yeah. But it's crazy that people caught up. And the logo looks It looks naughty. Yeah, it does. So Sorry. did you ever get in touch with your friends? Mm, no. You know, I realize I haven't heard from them. From the 
Yeah. They do the thing, right? Yeah, they went in the ocean thing. The I should thing. check up on that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I mean, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. Spoil it? I know. I, I, I. It's nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, listening to our show. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Oh, we'll be back in three weeks actually, because this is a longer Wednesday month. So we're back. We release every first and third Wednesday. So that's will be the next one on whatever first Wednesday that is, September 6th. But then what? coming up, we're releasing two weeks in a row. It's a Three whole... weeks in a row. It's a whole thing with our ads. But right now, you know, life is fucking awesome for you guys. Yeah. Um, hope, you've, hope you've hags. Have hope you all have hags. Have a great sister. Hope you all have hags. Have a good summer. Um, did I tell you? I haven't yet, have I? No. Oh, yeah. You haven't told me. All right, I'll tell you after. All right. All right. Enjoy, everyone. The meaning the rest of your life. Always remember. Yeah, do that. Goodbye. Bye-bye. So take a seat, enjoy the ride with Cole and Andrew Pye.